So we just went through the Grand Teton check station and I was a little bit concerned because I didn't have the Jeep attached and if they would let me in. So we have an annual park pass, but it doesn't allow two vehicles in. So I had to attach the Jeep. And the gentleman was very nice and told me, find a place, pull over and attach the Jeep because if you try to go into Yellowstone with two different vehicles, they will charge you for both. We made it! Oh yeah! Station unattended, what do I do? Do Indians have boys? Huh. Well, as I suspected, once we got into Yellowstone, there's nothing available. Everything is full. I was afraid, of course, we got here. Don't laugh. I mean, we got here at like five o'clock. I was, was hoping to find a place, but they said, really, your only option is to go outside the park. And we really wanted to stay in the park. In fact, we wanted to stay in the south side of the park because I wanted to take Grady mountain biking back in Jackson Hole, something he was really wanting to do. People at the uh, ranger station said, really my best bet for finding something that will accommodate us based on the size of our rig is on the north side of the park at Mammoth. Now, let me say this. I did zero research, zero. Other than I looked on a few websites and found a few things and I seen some had first come first serve. But what I'm finding is a lot of the first come first serve are really only for small rigs. And a lot of these sites, a lot of these campgrounds only accommodate small RVs or tenters. And Mammoth on the north side of the park is the one park that accommodates the most largest vehicles. The downside of that is that it's from here where we are at on the south side of the park to get to the north side of the park is probably going to be about four hours. But everything in Mammoth is full, so we have to go even further to the outside of the park to find a place to boondock, then wake up in the morning, then go back to Mammoth. <laughs> you see this is kind of getting crazy. But this is, what, uh, this is what happens when you do not prepare and do not plan is uh, you learn as you go. And this is what's happening to us now. So I'm getting some water. I use their dump station, filling up some water because we are gonna be boondocking and we're gonna head north. But tell you what, it's a great time to be driving through Yellowstone because it is like 5.30 now. So hopefully we can see some wildlife along the way. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. So we're gonna make it happen, aren't we? No matter what, we're gonna, but a chicken we're gonna make it work. Honestly, I'm putting a pizza in the oven. We're gonna turn the generator on, make it a movie night. Party in Yellowstone, dude. Yep. yep. This guy's got a great attitude about it because this is gonna change up some plans for him, but he's got yeah. a good attitude. Awesome. We, we, me and Dad will still get to do some bike riding, but obviously we're driving four hours, so we won't be able to get back. So we're gonna find one in Yellowstone. So we're gonna find a new mountain biking location. Proud of you. Thanks. All right, let me finish up this water. So when I went up to the ranger station to check for availability at the campground that we're at right now, which we are in Grant's Village, the ladies had an ongoing bet. One lady said, oh, surely he's got a reservation. The other person said, I bet he don't. Sure enough, the other lady won. I asked her what she won and she said, just bragging rights. So yeah, that's me. Totally showed up in Yellowstone without reservations. Okay, so Lane told me to get some coffee in the area where I set the mouse, sticky mouse glue trap. And I looked and there's two mice on it. Are you serious? Promise. See, two. I told you those mice. We saw mice. Man. All right, you want to hold this, Grady, and point it at me? Of course. Okay. I seen mice. I told you. You, might, you probably did, sissy. I just want to shine my flashlight in there. Okay. I want, yeah. I want to know yeah. if there's any more. Mm. Well, let's hope these two are the only ones. Are they mice or rats? Uh, they're little mice. Here, scoot yeah. back, buddy. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Not funny. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, they're alive. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, yeah. That's what the glue trap does. It does not kill them. It just sticks them. Makes them stick to it. Hey, but we got two. Hello. Now I gotta find a dumpster and get rid of them. Here's a trash bag. You got, yeah, do you just have like a, yeah, I need to put that in a dumpster. I'm just. Oh. Okay. I did, I set two. We caught two. Don't touch them. 
Why can't you just get them off in two minutes? Uh, because once they're on there, they're not gonna come off. And they might bite me, so. I'm gonna throw them in the trash. Sweet. All right, so there's two down. Hopefully that's the only two we had. Well, good morning, everyone. Well, what happened last night? After we realized we weren't gonna get anything inside the park, the only option was to go outside of the park. We didn't know where to go. We were gonna go all the way to the north side, get outside the park to a boondocking location, and then try to wake up and come early into the mammoth area and hopefully find a, a spot in the first come first serve. But it was getting later, and I was honestly just kinda ready to just stop for the night. So what we did was we went out the west Yellowstone entrance. And so I looked on Campendium. I found a cheap campground called Baker's Hole. It is part of the National Forest. And it's on Highway 191 and we were gonna go north to that. But along that, before we got to probably a mile or so, is a rest stop. I don't know if it's like an official rest stop because I didn't see like rest stop signs, but there's a pullout on both sides of the road. And I noticed a couple truckers there, already a couple RVs. So I whipped around, came back here and parked and this is where we're at. And now at six o'clock or 6.30 in the morning, I'm making myself some coffee. Kids are gonna be sleeping still. We're gonna wake them up and we're gonna head on into Yellowstone and hopefully find a spot in the first come first serve. Also last night, while I was doing some editing, trying to produce the next video, I thought I seen something out of the corner of my eye. We had some pillows stacked up and like two feet from me, I thought I seen a mouse. So like at 12.30 at night, I am getting out more glue traps and putting like six of them throughout the inside of the RV. We didn't catch anything last night so I don't know if what I seen was just light or what it was but possibly we still might have more. We'll see. morning. Hi there. I'm so proud of you. All right. Thank you. Star guy? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Well, unfortunately, we struck out. Stopped at Norris Campground. We was like fifth in line, but the problem is, is my RV's too big. They could have fit me in if I just had the RV, but since I have the Jeep as well, there's nothing that'll fit me. Everybody keeps telling us to go to Mammoth, so that's where we're headed. It's about 30 minutes away, I think, maybe even further, I'm not quite sure. But we're gonna go to Mammoth. They said yesterday it didn't fill up till two o'clock, so that's good news, because it's, what, 9.30 now? We've been here at Norris for an hour and a half. Anyway, here we go again. If I wasn't a professional RV driver before, I am now. Yeah. <laughs> because I feel like I've got the exact amount of length that I am supposed to be within this cone on this side and these big cones on this side. Lane's like, I don't know how you're not hitting them. I almost like it hit one looks of them like, It looks like he's hitting these. I mean, I'm probably Boom. a foot away from them on both sides. Just, are you watching the road? Yep. Oh, babe, just remember that you're always close on this side. Okay. <laughs> Chase and I can't answer right now, buddy. Hold that thought. Oh, sorry, I should be filming out there. Maybe I don't know. Just hide the yellow line because the right. other people will be fine. I am. Oh, hallelujah. Good job. We ain't done yet. Are you serious? <laughs> 
It said two miles of steep grade. This is beautiful. Oh, it is beautiful. Sorry, this I'm not gonna good. And I can't go out the side because the screen doesn't make yeah, a good picture, just so you know. But this is gorgeous. This ain't a very wide road. Yep. I'm getting the full-on experience of RV driving in Yellowstone. I'm having a full-on heart attack in Yellowstone. I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's a um, one-way system for the campground. Speed limit's 15. Just going to go straight to number 10. Okay, and it'll be on my right. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye now. Bye. Site 10 right here. Oh, that's beautiful. Picnic table's right in the way. I was going to say, you need to move that one. Uh, it may be too heavy. I can do it. And we caught our third mouse. Third mouse, complete. I've always called it buffalo. I'll probably always call it buffalo. That's pretty. It was awesome. That was pretty as you. Oh, and he just saw that. I only do that. It really, yeah, 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 yeah.